guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Dr. Bottoms going to another video review, and this time we're taking a look at a kind of a custom uh, Transformer thing, much like the fan projects type of uh, deal. This is the Perfect Effect PE-01 Shadow Warrior. Now this is for ages 15 and older, as you can see. This is <laughs> this is the package for it. Um, fairly nice packaging. I mean, it's, it's a box. It's nothing spectacular. Very small. Uh, very small. One thing that I'm kind of aggravated by, I got this from Big Bad Toy Store, and they used a box. I don't even know how big. The box that they used for this was ridiculously big. Okay, so real quick, here's here's the box. As you can see, this is a big box. And then you open it. And here it is. I mean, do you need that big of a box to ship that small of a thing? That right there is why their shipping is so expensive. I mean, it's it's kind of pointless that they put that entire, this little tiny thing in a box that big. As you can see, here's a regular, um, well actually it's <laughs> not a regular card, but it's about playing card size. As you can see, this is about how big this box is. Um, and I'm guessing that the figure inside is not all that big either. Now, he is designed to go with the Shadow Commander set from the Fans Project Shadow Commander. Uh, I don't have that. I probably will never get it. I have... I don't remember where I saw it, but I did see that this is the first of three figures that they're going to be making. Uh, the next one may be Frenzy. The next one may be Rumble. After that, who knows? But um, this is supposed to be an homage to the Rumble Frenzy type of figure itself. As you can see, you've got the, the figure there with its pile drivers and then it transforms into a gun as opposed to a cassette. So, let's get the guy open and see what all the uh, hubbub is, bub. Okay guys, so here we have the PE-01 Shadow Warrior opened up out of his packaging and uh, I was right, his packaging is considerably bigger than what he is. <laughs> First off, uh, this is a $37 um, from Big Bad Toy Store, that is, uh, $37 to get it from there. And it's a custom figure. Now, I remember when we first saw pictures of this, everybody was like, oh my gosh, are we going to be getting a Classics Rumble slash Frenzy figure from uh, Hasbro? Uh, well, we were getting a figure. It wasn't from Hasbro. Um... Overall, it's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, like I said, $37 though. Fairly pricey. When you compare it to the G1 version of himself, you can see he's actually smaller than the G1 version to give it, you know, proper size scaling. It's, it's really kind of disappointing about how small it is. It scales fairly well and it fits well with the... I got my city commander set. I don't have the shadow commander as I said. Um, and he does look pretty nice, and I'm, I'm actually not too put off by the colors. In terms of the feel, he is a little light. Well, obviously he's light. Plastic quality feels about the same, maybe a little bit more rigid, and not quite as perfected as the Shadow Commander, or the City Commander, for that matter. Uh, some of the paint details are not as crisp as I would like, but overall it's not too terribly bad. If we zoom in, you can kind of see a very nice face. I do like that. Overall, the mold, it look, but it's, you know, I mean, you can kind of see where it looks a little sloppy in some spots. Has a very nice, I don't know if that's coming across, metallic paint to it, which is, you know, not, not bad. A lot of what goes on with this guy in terms of transformation is a lot of slotting and sliding in on itself. So some of the paint may wear off, and that could be a problem for some people. He does come with his weapons here on the back, very much like his G1 self that can remove and they have pegs and you can have him hold them as guns uh, the, the, the hand holes don't seem all that, there we go they seem a little bit small and you kinda have to force them in at least on mine Do that oh, that one was fairly easy so there he is holding his, his back guns sure, okay, it's not bad take this out. Uh, one of the other things that's kind of nice about him is he comes with other weapons that allow him to look like he's got his pile driver. So what you need to do for that is turn the hand this way. Do that on both sides. I'm going to kind of zoom in. He's so small. And then on the side here you see slots that match up with slots here on the side. And you can plug those in. Do that on both sides of them. 
Oops. And now you have him with his pile drivers, which, sure. I've always wanted a rumble with pile drivers, and, and now, we, now I kind of sort of have one. One other thing that's kind of neat, he also comes with another gun that... Uh, this one has a little bit harder time kind of plugging in as well. You kind of got to force it in there, but it does hold in there, and he's got a nice gun. Secondary gun, I suppose, or third dairy. I don't even know. Um, in terms of articulation, it's actually fairly impressive. It's all ball joints, so it's it's not bad. Uh, his head will rotate from, well, all the way around. You have to do that for the transformation. Um, it kind of can look up and down again because of the transformation. The arm shoulders are on a ball joint, so you get full range of motion with that. Elbows are on a ball joint, so naturally you get everything. Nothing at the wrist. Waist, you can get a little bit of up and down and rotation. Back and forth at the upper part of the leg. Foot's on a ball joint, or I'm sorry, knees on a ball joint. And you get a little bit of pivot in the foot. Not much, just a little bit. Um, overall, though, nice looking figure. He, he he looks he looks pretty good. One thing that is kind of neat is uh, if you separate these, which you can, you separate them, and there are little plugs. There's little holes right in there that you can plug the handle for this into, and you can. Now you have weapon storage for this. You can do the same for the other one. Just kind of. I, I kind of have to use my nail to separate it. I'm, I'm worried about pulling too hard because it is it is a fan-made project. It's not made by Hasbro or Takara or anything, so it's not com quite up to standards. But here you have this other weapon, and again, you can just plug this in on the side if you wish, leaving those little wing things out there. And uh, it looks pretty nice. Now, to transform him into his uh, gun mode, he doesn't have a, a, a tape mode. He, he transforms into a gun Basically, what you want to do first, rotate the head 180 degrees, and then you plug it down. When you plug it down, that will expose a little peg right there. Um, fold the feet away, like so. Bring the legs, tab those completely together, thusly. Then you want to rotate this around. Oh, well, sorry. You need to take this section here. You should have did this, well, not first, but there's a little, you can see a slot right here and a little peg. You slot these two little guys together and then you push up to line them up. Then you come around here to the top and I don't even remember if it matters. You have to slot this over the shoulder joints, which is not all that easy to do. There we go. Push it as far down as you can, and you have it nice, and it's pretty good. Then take these, these legs, fold these up, and then right here, this little tab right here will peg into this hole. There we go, get that nice in there. Rotate these hands up, and they slot inside there. Again, rotate them up, and they will slot inside there, and that kind of separated that. And here you have him in his uh, gun mode, and then what you do is you take this little thing, and this part right here is actually kind of a disappointment, because it doesn't really peg up in here very well. So here you have him in his gun mode. Then with him in his gun mode, I'm, I'm going to zoom back, angle up, and we can bring in my city commander. Um, I don't, this is the original city commander armor, uh, so... Keep that in mind. But like I said, this doesn't, well, it kind of stays in there fairly well. And then you plug it in there, and he doesn't really hold it all that well. Uh, it's very loose in his hand. Um, but, it, I mean, he's holding it, I suppose. And if you try pushing it down, it'll plug out or unplug, whatever you want to call it. Um, but there's that for the gun. Now, if you take these off, he also has the pegs on the side of his shoulders that you can peg these into. Now, I don't know how well this will do because I haven't tried it yet but um, there's alright so it pegs in there fairly well it's not too bad and then you can rotate it down I suppose and uh, it kinda sorta pops out doesn't yeah, yeah oh yeah it doesn't really stay in there too terribly good um, I guess you can kinda get it to stay in there if you push really hard 
but overall it's not too terribly bad um it is like i said 37 dollars. it's fairly expensive so and you only get one of them and you need you have two shoulders so i don't know what you want to if you want to waste the money on buying this but um i think it's fairly nice and you can't see anything i think it's fairly nice is it worth 37 dollars? i i really don't think so but it is a nice looking display piece and then to transform them back you just untab the arms inside there untab this fold this down rotate the legs around fold the feet separate the feet pull this little bit off rotate the arms down lift the head rotate the head and uh there you have him i mean he's he's like i said he's a nice looking figure but because of how small he is he's so hard for me to actually recommend unless you are a diehard fan with some extra cash to kind of waste because that's really kind of what it is it, it's nice looking but it is kind of a waste now i'm going to just plug these in there we go I guess it doesn't really matter which arm you plug him into. Maybe that, that looks a little bit better. We'll try that. Yeah, we'll try that, boys and girls. You have that right in the back there. And take this out as well. I like how they, you know, that these these bits fold out and you can store the the back weapons in there. I think that's a nice little touch. Then you put that right back in there. Put that in there too, and you have his and you have his gun, but I'll leave that out because he's got his pile drivers. You know, so um, overall though, a very nice figure. I was zoomed in a little too much. Hopefully you could see all that. Overall, a very nice figure, not worth the thirty-seven dollars. But if you are interested in picking this up, like I said, you can get a big bad toy store or other online stores such as TF Source or things of that nature. I do think they are doing repaints of this in the Rumble and Frenzy color scheme, which I might get those as well, because I kind of like the way this looks, But uh, and I seem to have a disposable income. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, this is Optobotomus. I'll talk to you later.